We are hopefully able to speak to Sir Andrew Wiles in Oxford, actually in the Andrew Wiles building. And um, in fact, when I was chatting to Sir Andrew not long ago, he said that sometimes he actually gets letters to um, Sir Andrew Wiles' building. But Wiles building is not his surname. Uh, Sir Andrew, I, I, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Great. Well, firstly, um, congratulations from everyone here. And I wonder if we can start off, if you can just um, tell me, you know, what were your thoughts when you picked up the phone this morning and you heard someone with a Norwegian accent at the end of it? I was totally bemused. I was expecting a call from someone else and had the wrong accent in my <laughs> So what accent were you expecting? I was expecting uh, something from the south of England. <laughs> but... Uh, then it was a Norwegian accent, and I thought, oh, he wants to comment on something, and then I realized it was for me, and then that uh, was very, very exciting. And you, you've won uh, prizes before and had, um, you, know, you know, other awards, but what does it feel like to have won the Arbel Prize, which is famous and distinguished? Oh, it's a tremendous feeling to get the Arbel Prize. It's, uh, of course, the Arbel Prize didn't exist when I worked on this problem, and it's since become such a distinguished prize. Uh, and so many people who deserve to get it, I feel very honored that I've been selected. And if we look back at those sort of seven years that you were solving on your own, um, when you look back at them, do you think, Wow, well, how did I manage that? Or um, what was I thinking? What was your, what, how, how do you see that time of your life now? Uh, well, it shrinks. You re I remember happily the great moments of, of breakthrough, the Eureka moments. That's what stays with you. And the months of uh, unsuccessful attempt fade away. So, yes, the memories are very happy of that period. Um, and when I look back at the actual writ, I'm amazed at what I myself have forgotten the details. I look back and I see a, a great feeling to why I got that. You, you, you're talking then about, about remembering the amazing breakthroughs, but did you ever go through the lows also thinking, like losing faith that you were ever going to do it? Uh, I was totally focused on doing it, so I, I, I just couldn't face the idea of not, not getting there. That's a very good moral lesson for everyone, I think. Um, when you were working on it, obviously Fermat's Last Theorem is the famous um, sort of conclusion to it, but were you also realising and thinking... I'm opening a whole other area of, of, of maths, or did you really just have your eye on the prize on Fermat, or were you also thinking on other, other types of mathematics and, and where that could eventually lead to? I was focused on Fermat, but what had made this breakthrough of, of Fry and Ribbit was that I could work on it responsibly, that is, I could work on, a, on problems that I knew had to be solved and were very, very important for the rest of mathematics, it would have been much less satisfying to find a proof that only resolved Fermat's last theorem and did nothing for the rest of mathematics. So it was very, very serendipitous, really, that the parts of mathematics that you were expert in turned out to be exactly those parts that were required for a proof. Uh, yes, that was my... Either my great good fortune or my great intuitive judgment when I went into these fields, yes. I'll let's, say which. Let's call it intuitive judgment. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on the direction that number theory in particular has gone on in light of your proof of the modularity theorem? Well, I think it's, it's very exciting that it's, it's expanded and expanded. I, I thought it would be helpful, but I had no idea how big a uh, field it could develop into. 
uh, it's very exciting to have watched it. And what, what do you think the future is for uh, number theory in this area? Are there any new signature problems that need solving and that are explainable to a lay audience? <laughs> well, there's a whole program which is trying to understand these uh, modular forms that you describe, these objects that really come from and from geometry, in terms of arithmetic, in terms of solutions of equations and numbers, uh, it's a very surprising connection. And I think it, it shows something very, very deep in mathematics. And the more we study it, the more surprised and, uh, and the more beautiful it seems. Well, I think that's really exciting to, to, to realize that mathematics isn't something that you just you get the answer and that's it, that every new um, discovery leads on to more depth and more discoveries. Um, the final question, the, you know, the Arbol Prize comes with quite a large cash sum, about half a million dollars, I think. I was just wondering if anything comes to mind that you might want to spend it on. Is, are we going to see a new, a new extension or a, a new car or a holiday? Or a, have you I, given any thought to it quite yet? And no thought yet. Uh, it's okay. this morning and I'm just, uh, <laughs> just recovering from the shock so. <laughs> brilliant well thank you very much and we'll see you in Norway in May um, but once again congratulations Sir Andrew Wiles um, winner of the Arbol Prize 2016